temperatures is about to set. Now presenting the chosen one. Something is wrong when your own parents pimp you. Uh, something is wrong when your parents will use your gift to their own advantage. In case you're looking at me wayward, I'm talking to those of you who have the phone in your child's name. In case you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking to those of you who have your child answer the phone when the bill collector calls. In case you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking to those of you who cuss out the teacher but don't show up for PTA. Uh, you're pimping your child's gift and you have your child dancing in front of drunk men. She's dancing and I wish I could get a video of what kind of dance she was doing. But whatever dance it was, it entreated the king. And when it entreated the king, it arrested his attention. And he is so untaken by her dance that the king says something that absolutely mesmerizes my attention. The king says, hear this, based off of how you danced, whatever you want, you can have. I, I better pause because I think I lost somebody here today. How can you imagine that God is saying in this sanctuary that based off of how you dance, whatever it is you want, you can have. See, some of you are too uptight in church. You're too restricted. You are too held back. You are too held hostage by what it is that other people are going to say and think and feel. But when you understand that my dance will do something for the king, or that my dance is so captivating that when the king sees my dance, he'll give me whatever it is that I want. See, this makes no sense to those of you who are not praisers. But those of you who understand, I will enter to his gates with giving. And I'll enter to his courts with praise. And I'll bless his holy name. See, some of you checked out because you didn't know what was happening. You thought it was for us. But there were those of us who had enough sense to understand that I'm not at the altar to be in the camera. I'm not crying like that to be seen. I'm not doing any of this so that folk might be in my business. But I'm dancing for the king. God, I, I wish I had a worshiping church in here. I, that there's somebody in here who knows that I wish it enough Friday nights and Saturday nights in a club for no reason. Sweating until my clothes stuck to my body. Dealing with folk with bad breath. Having folk step on my shoes. Tired when I finally got back home. But don't you know when you dance in the presence of the king, there is no way you can go back home the same way you got here. I wonder if there's somebody who knows that the king is watching. And if this is my last opportunity, let me do my dance so that God will know for hear my to see you I want to see you dance because based off of your dance you can get what it is that you want uh, let, let me deal with it deductively in other words if you don't need nothing from the king don't dance uh, I, I, I think I lost you if all of your bills are paid please don't dance if you don't need a new job don't dance if, if your supervisor ain't on your nerves don't if your children don't need a breakthrough, don't dance. If you don't have no sickness or issues in your body, don't dance. But if you need the king to do something for you, and you want him to do it for you tonight, even if you got to turn over chairs and knock down pews and run and get in the face of God, God said, if you need something from me, you can't be afraid to dance in front of me. Be seated, please. Be seated. Look at the person beside you and tell them, I can tell you don't need anything. I, I can tell you're not in a desperate situation. I can tell your back is not up against the wall. But if you need what I need, if you've been crying the way I've been crying, if you've been under attack the way I've been under attack, can I announce the dance floor is open? You better forget about the folk around you and make up in your mind if this I'm just talking, I ain't even where I'm going. 
says in the Old Testament how that when David recovered the Ark of the Covenant, he's headed back to Jerusalem and he begins to dance until his wife looks out the window and says, how undignified is that? And he shouts back up to the window, you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm dancing not for a car. I'm dancing not for a raise. I'm dancing, watch this, I ain't bringing sexy back. I'm bringing the glory back. God, I, I need somebody here who wants the glory back in your life. I dare you to just open up your mouth and, and pat your feet and clap your hands like I need to bring the glory back. Be seated, please. Be seated, please. Um, says, what do you want? Whatever you want, you can have it tonight. I, I, I just missed you. Let me back that thing up. Give it to you again. Whatever you want, you can get it tonight. If you're not too shy to dance in front of the king. See, if you caught up on folk rolling their eyes and sucking their teeth, you might have to wait another six months. But if you need How was that she didn't know what she wanted? She didn't know what she wanted, so she had to consult with her mother. If she had known for herself what she wanted, she would have never had to ask anybody else. Huh, see, I'm, I'm talking to those of you, you don't need nobody to give you no recommendation about what you're giving God the glory for. But you got three things on your mind right now. That God, if you're going to do anything, handle one, two, three. And I want God, I feel a breakthrough in this room. Look at your neighbor and say, excuse me. My dance is my deliverance. That if I give God this dance, God is going to deliver something to me before the night is over. Be seated. Be seated. We're almost there. Be seated, please. The people behind you can't see. Be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, I don't usually dance in church. I, I usually just clap my hands and I, I shout every now and again. But the preacher giving me some new information. That everybody was at the party. But the only one that got delivered was the one that wasn't ashamed to dance. Y'all don't even know how to church shout. So if you gotta do the wop, wop it out, baby. If you gotta walk it out, walk it out, baby. You know how to do that. You see, she didn't know what she wanted. And because she didn't know what she wanted, she had to ask somebody. Ladies and gentlemen, can I tell you, I just feel like as we start a brand new year, you don't need nobody to tell you what to shout for. You don't need nobody to give you no recommendations about what you got to give God the glory for. It was the psalmist that said, one thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after both night and day. Y'all better clear your hands because something is getting ready to happen. I wonder if there was one thing that you could depend on God to do by midnight. Absolute certainty that my dance depended on God making a delivery by midnight. I wonder how you would dance. Can I tell you only got 60 seconds? But if you don't need it, you got my permission to be seated. But if you need 
the mountain. Here I come. Be seated, please. All right. Um, the mother told him, the mother told the daughter, uh, tell the king you want John's head cut off. Now, now you got to understand and remember that this is what Herod wanted to do all along. Uh, but he was too much of a coward to do it himself. So he had to use somebody else. Can I tell you, most of your haters are punks. God help me, because what they feel about you, they ain't never going to tell you. Oh, Y'all ain't talking about you. Most of the people who got an issue with you, if you that mad man, man up, say it to me. Otherwise, keep it. somebody else and says listen what I want you to do is cut off the head of John now the Bible records for us that Herod is now in anxiety he's now in grief because he says I'm not sure what's going to happen when the people find out but this is what's significant for you to know is he says I'm in a bind watch what the king says because I can't break my word Oh, okay, I think I lost you. He said, I can't break my word because after you dance, whatever you ask me, it don't matter what other people feel about it. I'm going to give it to you anyway. Well, if I was in a Baptist church, Mark, this is point number one. God told me to tell you he can't break his word. Whatever God told you is going to happen. God, tell me some of y'all ain't shouting because he ain't promised you nothing. But if you know God Be seated, for real. Be seated. Uh, and, and they chop off his head. And, and, and put his head on a silver platter. And deliver it to the king. I'm, I'm not going to keep you much longer. Uh, but, but I need you to see uh, the metaphorical symbolism of the text. Uh, you've got to understand, uh, watch this, uh, that all that's left now is the bot. Mm -hmm. uh, because they have already chopped the head. Mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, they chopped off the head and all that's left is the body. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the disciples, watch this, come and get the body. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to figure out why did they come get the body when the head has already been chopped. Okay, uh, y'all in a slow class. Let me see if I can help you. See, what God is looking for is a mature church. That even when the pastor gets cut. Oh, y'all ain't talking back to me. Even when the leader is under attack. He want to know will the body still go forward. See, I'm looking for some crazy. Who say it don't seated. I'm, I'm coming to get you. Alright. The disciples came and got the body because they were letting the enemy know you got a piece of me but you didn't get all of me. As a matter of fact there's more of me left than what you took. And some of y'all ought to be shouting right now because the enemy thought he killed all of you. But you ought to just lay hands on yourself and say I'm still here. I almost lost my mind. Crazy. I almost committed suicide, but I still got my back. 